I'm struggling with search query performance report, having a hard time using all the data to see where I'm lacking or how can I use it to increase my sales? All that data is very overwhelming. Yes, it is. Yes it is um it is a lot so that has been a theme with amazon is putting out more and more data which we love it also means uh analytics has gotten a lot more complicated and a lot more factors to keep in mind um i wouldn't overthink it i wouldn't overthink it um your optimizations inside of your usual workflows meaning finding things that convert well, making sure that you have a good enough presence on them to make an impact on your organic ranking, make sure you're optimizing your bids and your budgets, adding negative keywords. None of that good practices have changed. They will never change. The only thing that has been added and I'm kind of, kind of like downplaying this report. Like it's an insane report and the amount of information you can pull out of it is a lot, but kind of what you're discovering is that it, it's really difficult and you feel like you're, you're missing out on everything. What you want to think about is like, I would try and dig in on your uh, main products like the products that you really know that you can spend time on your, you want to put the extra effort, you know, any extra effort is going to be rewarded. That is where you're going to be able to make sense of things. And you're not going to get so distracted that you try and put together like the most insane reports across everything in your entire account, because that's going to be way too much for you to wrap your head around. So I would dig in there. And then what you want to look for is where do you have better, um, better performance than the averages or your competitors? That's going to help you zero in on the things that make sense for you to go after. Um, so one workflow that a lot of people will do is they will look at, you know, the conversion rates, the click through rates and where Amazon is saying that they uh, it is a very important keyword to your brand. And what they'll then do is take the advertising reports and then look at their impression share. So the, the search term impression share reports to determine if they are, um, if there's room for them to increase the impression share, again, using search query performance to validate a keyword that they are performing well on. Um, and the reason why that's such a powerful connection is because search query will include both ads and the organic and it overlays your performance versus competitors. And that's why it's such um, a, a powerful report to be able to use. Um, so I would just sort of try and look at that analysis, just say, can I find one or two keywords in the search query report that I could then go and take a look at my ads because that whole workflow, I'm saying it's super easy. Like, yeah, figure out the keywords that work and then go look at the search query impression share. You have to wrap your head around how do I even read the search query reports? How do I identify which keywords are better for me? How do I then take that information and then map it across the search query performance? And I have to wrap my head around um, the data in, you know, the search query or the sorry search term impression share report. And then I have to go in and like find out where those keywords are in my ad account and then get strategic with my bids. That whole workflow um, is really cumbersome. And there's a lot of learning points um, or learning that you have to have in that. So I wouldn't overthink it. I would look at your again, main products, see if you can find a couple keywords get super strategic and then that will sort of help you get into a comfortable workflow which you can then roll out across say other products or new product launches or anything like that 